Yeah. So that's how we doing it now. Relax. Have you lost your fucking mind? Hot as fire, cold as ice. Broken lovers, lonely nights. Mixed emotion, endless fights. Rushing through these New York City lights. Tough I think you need to calm down and call me later. Nah. I need you to explain to me why the fuck you would send me some shit like that. Well, we're doing this whole thing for the vlog and you want us to be honest, right? Also, you asked me if I'm seeing anyone, so... So you throw me off with a fucking video? I wasn't trying to throw you off, Quincy. I just... So you out here doing you? Is that what's going on? Well, I had been seeing that guy in the hopes that maybe he could take my mind off things, yeah. So did y'all... No, we didn't have sex, Quincy. Good. Because you would have felt real stupid if you did. Excuse me? You would have felt dumb if you let him hit and found out he was engaged. I mean, of course, but... Alicia, you're not built for this. This whole casual dating scene, it's, it's not for you. You're a good girl. I don't want you getting, you know fucked over or like tainted. <laughs> so what are you, my savior? What, you gonna protect me from the big bad guys in the world? I just meant that- No, you know what? It's fine. Do me a favor and don't call me until I call you. Alicia. Cause I'll be busy being tainted. Alicia. More videos coming your way soon, Quincy. Have a good night. If you could feel it, tell me how does it feel, feel, feel. Your love has got me so tired out. Hold me, trust me, lonely. Yeah. If you love me, hold me, touch me. Your love has got me so tired out. Trust me, You ready for your news interview? I can't wait to see it. It'll be great publicity for you. And Elise, the culture vulture. Really? What? That girl just rubs me the wrong way. But I am excited about the launch. Why are you up so early? Remember, I'm trying to get an extra early every day this week. Get my data points up, stay off my phone. My boss shouldn't have anything to say to me. Yeah, well that sounds great. For them, you still don't want to be there. I know. I just need to stick it out a little while longer till I find something better. You need to ask for those part-time hours and focus on your true love, your music. Nothing's gonna be better than that. I'm still thinking about it, Jason. What? Can you do me a favor? Hmm. You push the toothpaste from the bottom of the tube. You push it from the middle. Just makes it messy. Okay. It's just a little thing, no biggie. 
How about you focus on actually peeing in the toilet bowl? What you said? I'm just saying, you're worried about toothpaste, but can you focus on peeing in the toilet instead of, you know, everywhere around it? I'll work on it. Thank you. Did you eat some of my meal? Anything that says figure friendly, don't touch. All right. Thank you. Where are you headed? I actually got a job interview today. In the warehouse. Just like that? What's wrong with this? Nothing, never mind. Where's your resume? Sent it in already online. Okay. Um, will you forward it to me later? Sure. Good luck. Right. How you doing? Yeah, I'm good. What you working on? Just working on secret confessions. How's that going? It's cool. Just takes time. Need to figure out a way to make some survival money until it really gets going. Yeah, well, it's New York. There's a million ways to get it. Hey, you sure you good? It's a little early. Yeah, I'm taking this to the office. Um, we're having a little party. Oh, okay. <laughs> no matter how hard anyone tries to deny it, those girls are gorgeous. Simply gorgeous. <laughs> That's why the world can't stop talking about them. Um, no, boo. The world can't stop talking about them because we're all shocked by the strength of their vajayjays. <laughs> no, seriously though, they're not just taking any D. You know, they're taking that big, long, athletic D. And a lot of it too. <sighs> they date a bunch of rappers too. True, that aggressive D. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're hilarious. But we all know why the world loves them. Sure, because they're rich, hot, and have a great sense of style. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you all just don't want to admit it. That's part of it, but it's also because they have the qualities of black women, but aren't actually black. Oh, preach! What does that even mean? It means that everybody wants to be black, but nobody wants to be black. Precisely. Mm-hmm, you taught me well. Oh. What now? That's simply not true. Why does everything have to be about color? Please, they pay for black hairstyles like cornrows and box braids. Mm -hmm. They pay for black body types. Yep, everybody in that family got booty now. I'm sensing some jealousy here. Kendall and Courtney don't. Oh, it's coming. Watch. <laughs> and don't forget the lips. What, what does she have now, though? The lips. So true. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> yes. I don't want to break up the little party, but I just have to point out that the numbers have been a little low lately. So, of course, we want you to talk and have fun, but don't get so caught up 
that the work is lacking. Thanks very much. That other job would have called me soon. Jason, the strides you've made in the three years since launching the My Closet app are incredible. Half a million subscribers, a million dollars in in-app purchases, and four, well, now five, successful partnerships. How does it feel? It feels really great. Truthfully, I never saw myself in a fashion style world. That wasn't a dream of mine. But after speaking with my sisters and other women around me, and even guys who are really into dressing, I saw that there was a need for this app. I'm just happy that God blessed me with the vision and the will to make it happen. Half a million subscribers are happy too. I gotta tell you, my wife uses the app and she says it's really simplified her life. Nice. Although it's complicated mine a bit because now she spends more money shopping. <laughs> which has also simplified my life because now I don't have to go to the mall. <laughs> Elise, CEO, Vultuous Clothing also highly successful. How does it feel having your clothing sold on the My Closet app and working with this awesome founder? Oh, it's been a truly amazing experience. I mean, just recently we teased a few items on the app and already it's brought in loads of pre-orders, which we're really excited about. And working with Jason has been a breeze. He's a perfectionist who knows what he's doing. And when I heard he initially developed his company using his own personal finances, I knew I had to work with him. Because he's obviously a go-getter who's determined. And he's a black man making all of this happen. So for people out there who have doubt, who feel like their race might be holding them back, just take a look at Jason. He has worked diligently to make it happen for himself. And if he can do it, so can you. No excuses. So Jason, what are the next steps for the company? Well, uh, keep pushing forward, expanding, partnering up. Jackson. The Western clients have suddenly pulled out of their ETFs. Any reason as to why? Yeah, um, they had a financial emergency. What type of emergency? And why wasn't I informed about this? Um, I'm uploading the file right now. Get it over to me immediately, please. Puzzled by the circle of life that I'm living. A bunch of squares ain't even there falling, they tripping. Feeling myself getting closer to such as closures. Got me weighing on my options. Hope the balance don't tip over. A Saturday, that I'm back to the streets slinging dope up. A Saturday, that I'm back to the streets, it's getting colder. A Saturday, that this music would be my four leaf clover. No, my luck been running out. Tell me what's that about? A part of my fate, a dead coast decision with doubt. Shit, taking two shots to the face. Then look in the mirror and ask, why am I such a disgrace? Starting to question my fate. Why should I bother when never time seduce my mind when I'm thinking? I'm at the brink of my own extinction. What you drinking? I'm trying to know all of your thoughts to me. So what you thinking? Hey, and what you say? Oh, no.
Mm. Can I see you in the hall a moment? Sure. You better not be taking me to no ratchet ass club tonight. A ratchet club? You said you like dancing, so we're going dancing. Yeah, but why won't you tell me where? Look, don't worry about that. You don't like surprises? No, not really. I just need to know where it is we're going. Like, what kind of vibes is it gonna be? Hip hop, reggae, shit, should I be wearing sweats for Zumba? Like, what's up, where we going? Look, just put on a dress, all right? Just make sure it isn't too tight. We're gonna get loose tonight. Okay. <laughs> Don't forget your phone. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. All right, now. All right. See you later. See you in a bit. Hello? Question, why am I wasting my time going out on a date with an Uber driver slash struggling musician? Um, because he's a nice guy, he's chasing his dreams, and money. He's in everything. You know who says that, right? People who don't have it. Stop it. I also heard he's not too bad to look at. Monica's putting extras on it. Whatever, just go on the date and get to know his character. While we're giving advice, what's the best way to go about getting a one night stand? What? Must have been some wild office party. <laughs> hey, I'm about to call somebody to come through. Call Tara and Lindsay. You back at it? I'm the fucking great black hope. I told you I didn't like that girl. You gotta have a talk with her. Mm -hmm. Don't use me to push that bullshit ass bootstrap myth. See little black kids? Jason made it. So can you. It was wild disrespectful. Wait till you see it. Some white people just don't get it. They hate to admit that we don't all have the same opportunities. Nah, cause then they have to admit they privilege. You know they're not doing that. Mm. I guess you're right. Online is the best way since I'm so awkward at meeting new guys. I mean, the only reason I was even seeing Rouse is because that day I went to his office to apologize, he just came on to me so strong. Ugh, his bitch ass. I am so glad you didn't give it up to him. Oof. Anyway, if you need help setting up an online account, let me know. I've been on pretty much all the apps. Just be warned, there's a lot of weirdos on there. Most of the guys are just looking for a quick lay. Which shouldn't be a problem for you since you're on that same wave. Are you sure that's what you want to do, Leash? I'm sure. I know once the interview comes out, she'll see all over my face how irritated I was by what she was saying. Good. So, um, I have some news. What's up, baby? Today at work, I was kind of nodding off, so my boss had another talk with me. She mentioned that my mind seemed elsewhere and told me that they want to put me on work probation. Of course your mind's elsewhere. I was thinking about dating and research all day. Right. Did you ask for the part-time hours? I did, but she said it was either full-time or nothing at all. That's the bullshit. We gotta get you another hustle and get you up out of there. Well, um, the news is I chose nothing. I quit, Jason.
you go. It was alright. They said they'll call me back. But you know. Mm. It'll work out. What's this? Oh, stuff you need. Desperately. Yo! Thanks, sis. Mm -hmm. Don't thank me, just get a job. This folder has printouts of your updated resume, so you should be good. Word? Mm -hmm. It's not really on now, huh? Job. Get one. I got you. Mm-hmm. Wait, before you leave, since you're in a good mood, you think I can invite my girlfriend over? Your girlfriend? You just got out of jail. I know, she was with me before I went in. Like, she really held me down. Like, she ain't fuck with nobody or nothing while I was inside. <laughs> sure. Yeah, she can come over. But she can't spend a night, and y'all two are staying here. No other parts of my place. Got you. All right. Thanks, sis. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, what are you doing? Food, I went up to the top. My bad. You are cheating. Yeah, you trying to make sure somebody gets lit. You trying to make sure the game is fair, right? <laughs> All right, Lindsay, come on, shuffle. All right, y'all. I got this. Real good. I mix this. it up. This. Y'all never seen that type of shuffling before, right? I learned that in Brownsville. All right, y'all. Come on. Let's do this. Ah, that's my other face. You're shot, man. All right. Ah, bottoms up. Oh, you need How the hell did I get it again? Bitch, you ain't talking Get you some orange juice. Get you some orange juice. Hey, hey, hey. Word up again. This time, two to kill. I just don't like how you reacted. What you mean? How, how did I react? Oh, come on. Don't play dumb, Jason. You're not happy about me quitting. I saw it all over your face. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I was just a little caught off guard. Here I am trying to convince you to take less hours. You keep saying, nah, you can't afford it. You don't want to depend on me. But then you just quit. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm just a little thrown. See, that's what this is about, me depending on you. If you think I'm just gonna sit around here all day living on your app money, you're wrong. I'm talking, that's not what I'm thinking at all. No? So then what's your concern? My concern is lack of a plan. I suggest you go part-time so you at least have some money while pursuing your music. I can handle a little major shit, no problem. But I think you want at least a little cash flow for, for random stuff you might want to need. I'm going to find a job. That's the plan. Jason, I've had different jobs ever since I got out of college. I don't need you to help me figure it all out. I've got it under control, so thank you. Oh, shit. My bad. Uh-huh. Excuse me for thinking since we're living together and in a relationship, we're partners. Mm -hmm. I know we're not married, but I thought we'd at least strategize together. But nah, you quit based off emotion. Didn't even ask my advice. I did what was best for me. End of story. Well, fucking congratulations. <sighs> Hello, how are you doing this evening? Good, thank you. Are you? Great. Just trying to figure out what's going on. Oh, what a surprise. Wonderful. So I guess I can share that you're here for a private lesson on salsa dance. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna take you step by step. I'm gonna take you slow and then the floor is all yours. Is that okay? Okay. We're we ready? Yeah. Let's do this. Nah, man, it's not my thing, man. I ain't dancing. Hey, we come on. Get up. Come on, Jazz. Oh, my gosh. Oh. You act like this so much. All right, all right. Okay, so look, we're gonna whip it. All right. <laughs> we gonna whip it. Whip, 
Come on. You're not, not even. I'm like, not it's like you're driving your whip. I'm not doing it. Dude. Whip. That's whip. not even a dance. You don't. Okay. What is that? What is that dance called? Never mind. Let's just let's try something else. Right. So this one is called the Millie Rock. The what? The Millie Rock. So look, you take this hand, right? Let me see your hand, dude. Come on. Hey. Oh no. Wait, man. hold up. We didn't get to the other hand. You do it, you know, with all this right. hand too. You're not even trying. I did. Come on. Hey. Come on. I ain't doing all that, Jason. Come on. You are just selects. Like, that name real quick. <laughs> oh my god. Really? That's what you want to do? Yeah. Y'all couldn't take five minutes out y'all day to go to the polls and then get to Five work. minutes for what? He still won. Well, then you know y'all the reason he got elected, right? Oh, <laughs> do not put that on us. Hell no. Nah. You better put that on them crackers and rednecks down south, okay? Mm -mm, nope. People who didn't vote are no better than his supporters. Look, if everybody had went down to the polls and voted like his insane followers did, the outcome would have been different. Oh, I was not about to vote for Hillary's lying, pandering ass. She called us super predators. And she was doing too damn much to try to get our vote. You don't keep no goddamn hot sauce in your bag. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, well, she was still better than that crazy orange nut case. Mm, yeah, that's true. But she won New York anyways. So our vote didn't even matter. Yeah, OK. That's going on. You know what's funny? I spent so much time, years actually, fighting to get a real relationship, but I never even learned how to be in one. I did learn the ins and outs of being with a player, a fuckboy, a con artist. I could actually write a book about it. But when it comes to being with a man who genuinely wants to be with me, who has my best interest at heart, I'm clueless. I have no idea how to navigate this. I have no idea how to accept this. It's all really new. So, wish me luck. Come 
come on don't go to sleep on me now zaddy <laughs> no, no, chill, chill, chill. What's up, Q? Just not on there right now. Jackson. Jackson! Look, I'm tired. I'm over it. You should just go. She annoying ass bitch. Oh, you done got me fucked up. You ready? Girl, Ben. question prove it So, last relationship? Two years ago. Longest relationship? Three years. Number of degrees? One. Really? Yes, really. But it was a music one, so it all really count. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um, number of kids? No. Baby mamas? How are you going to ask me if I have a baby mama if I told you I don't have no kids? It was a trick question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, last question. Where the hell are you from? Because I know that X and A from New York. <laughs> I'm from Miami. Nice. 
Well, I had an amazing night. Me too. And that was an amazing group on you guys. <laughs> oh, man. That's how it is? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> No, it was a Groupon. I knew it. I knew it was a Groupon. I knew it. I knew oh, it. Oh, shit. 